In the heart of East Africa, where the savanna meets the skyline, a new revolution is taking shape, not one of politics or protest, but of progress and technology. Kenya is rewriting its future with a $45 billion transformation plan that's turning the country into Africa's silicon savanna. For decades, the world's tech spotlight shone on Silicon Valley, but today, the glow is spreading to a futuristic city rising from Kenya's plains, Kanza Technopolis. This is not just another development project, it's a blueprint for Africa's digital destiny. A vision where smart cities, high-speed expressways, and advanced rail systems merge to create one of the continent's most ambitious transformations. About 60 kilometers from Nairobi, construction cranes and glass towers mark the rise of Kanza Technopolis, Kenya's $14 billion flagship smart city. Designed as part of Kenya's Vision 2030, Kanza is envisioned as a city where innovation meets infrastructure, a place for data centers, research hubs, universities, and global tech giants to collaborate. Spread over 5,000 acres, this futuristic city is being built from scratch to become a hub for artificial intelligence, fintech, biotechnology, and green energy startups. The goal? To create 200,000 high-tech jobs and contribute nearly 2% to Kenya's GDP by 2030. According to official reports and news from Construction Week Online and Reuters, the city's first phase, now nearing completion, includes a 400-kilometer fiber optic network, a smart power grid, and modern residential zones equipped with digital connectivity at every corner. But beyond the glossy renderings and tech jargon lies something more powerful, a sense of hope. For many young Kenyans, Kanza is not just a place, it's an opportunity, a chance to work in a city built for the future, on African soil, with African innovation. No revolution succeeds without strong foundations, and Kenya knows that. While Kanza rises, the government has invested billions in roads, railways, and energy projects designed to connect the country like never before. The Nairobi Expressway, a 27-kilometer, Chinese-built elevated highway, now slices through the capital, reducing travel time from the airport to the city from two hours to just 15 minutes. It's more than a road, it's a statement that Kenya is ready for modern mobility. Then comes the Standard Gauge Railway, a $3.6 billion marvel linking Nairobi to Mombasa and eventually connecting Kenya with Uganda, Rwanda, and South Sudan. This new rail line is the backbone of regional trade, cutting cargo transport time dramatically and opening Kenya's ports to the entire East African market. The dream doesn't stop there. Plans for an electric railway connecting Kanza Technopolis directly to Nairobi and the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport are already underway, turning Kenya's capital corridor into one of the most advanced transport networks in Africa. At the heart of Kenya's tech rise is Nairobi, a city that has transformed from chaos to code. Over the last decade, the city has become home to more than 300 tech startups, including global names like Google, Microsoft, IBM, and Visa, all setting up regional headquarters here. It's where M-Pesa, the world-famous mobile payment system, was born, revolutionizing financial access not just in Kenya, but across the developing world. That same innovative spirit fuels the next generation of Kenyan entrepreneurs, building apps and solutions for everything from agriculture to AI healthcare. The Nairobi skyline tells the story, new glass towers, digital billboards, electric buses, and co-working spaces buzzing with young developers. Kenya's youthful population, with an average age of just 20, is turning creativity into currency. None of this growth is possible without power, and Kenya is leading the green revolution in Africa. The country generates more than 80% of its electricity from renewable sources, geothermal, wind, and hydro. Projects like the Lake Turkana Wind Farm, the largest in Africa, and the Alcaria Geothermal Plant ensure that the new tech cities like Kanza are powered by clean energy. It's a sustainability model the rest of the continent is watching closely. Kenya isn't just chasing technology, it's building it responsibly. Solar-powered homes, smart lighting systems, and electric vehicle charging networks are now part of urban planning, not afterthoughts.
Behind every innovation are the people who make it real. Walk into a Nairobi cafe and you'll find 20-something developers collaborating on new fintech ideas. Visit Kanza and you'll meet engineers laying fiber cables under the blazing sun. These are the unsung heroes of Kenya's transformation, the coders, planners, and dreamers who see technology as more than just gadgets. For them, it's a path to better education, higher income, and global recognition. As one young software engineer told The Guardian, we don't want to leave Africa to find opportunity anymore. We want to build opportunity here. That statement sums up the emotional core of this revolution. Kenya's rise hasn't gone unnoticed. Billions in investment have flowed from international partners, the US, China, and the European Union, eager to be part of this African awakening. Companies like Huawei are providing 5G infrastructure. Microsoft's Africa Development Center is training thousands of coders. The United Nations is supporting sustainable housing in Kanza. Together, these efforts are not just funding projects. They're nurturing an ecosystem where innovation can thrive independently. Even the World Economic Forum has highlighted Kenya as a frontline nation in Africa's digital transformation, predicting that by 2030, the country will be a continental leader in smart manufacturing and tech-driven education. Of course, the journey hasn't been without obstacles. Delays in construction, budget constraints, and bureaucratic hurdles have slowed Kanza's development at times. Some critics argue that the project's early hype outpaced its progress. Yet, every great transformation faces resistance before it succeeds. Kenya's leadership continues to push forward, implementing public-private partnerships, streamlining regulations, and opening new investment windows to accelerate growth. In the end, it's not just about building a city, it's about building confidence in Africa's capacity to create, compete, and lead in the digital age. So, what does the future hold? Picture this. By 2030, Kanza Technopolis will hum with data centers, autonomous buses, and AI research labs. Nairobi's expressways will light up at night with electric vehicles. Across the plains, schools will teach coding to children who once had no internet access. This isn't fiction. It's happening right now, one road, one rail, one line of code at a time. Kenya's $45 billion tech revolution is not just shaping a country, it's inspiring a continent. From mobile money to mega infrastructure, Kenya is proving that innovation doesn't belong to one place. It can thrive anywhere there's vision and willpower. The world once looked to California for tech dreams. Now, it's time to look to Kenya, where ambition meets innovation, and a new digital frontier is being built under the African sun. From Kanza Technopolis to the Nairobi Expressway, from M-Pesa to the next wave of startups, this is the rise of Africa's Silicon Savannah.